everyone hi today I would like to show a short video to to demonstrate how you can post out 100 USDT into the lending pool all right so here this is the wallet where I have my USDT so check number one make sure that your wallet has the sufficient fund to lend out <laughs> number two check that your corresponding gas fee has sufficient C as well. In this case, I am lending out USDT BEP20, and so BNB is the corresponding gas fee. Here, I have 0 0.0048. Through past experiences, I know this is definitely sufficient because as long as you have some 0 0.002 is already sufficient to make one transaction, all right? So here, I'm going to click on landing, and I'm going to click on this landing page. By the way, let me let me go slower, okay? Earlier, I beg about it. Earlier, I was at the wallet, yeah? And how do I move to the landing part? Below at this frame, there are there is a banner which contains a few buttons, right? So click on the second button from the left, which is landing, and you will come to this portion here and investment amount right now it is automatically set as bsc chain right so and it's automatically set as usdt bep20 and so here it's very straightforward if you are lending out usdt trc20 then you have to click on the tron chain and then you have to make sure that you have trx sufficient trx in your wallet and how much is sufficient for tron chain uh, for trx i was told that you should have at least that you should have at least a hundred <laughs> i beg your pardon let me get back to where i was earlier you should have at least 100 um, trx in the wallet before you make any uh, USDT TRC20 transfers okay at least a hundred and then how much for ETH now you will need ETH if you are going to land out USDT ERC20 and uh, what I was told that to have sufficient gas fee for ETH is the amount of is the amount of 0 0.01 for ETH in order to, to, to do any USDT ERC20 um, movements. Alright, so I hope this little nugget of information helps. Okay, back to the lending. Uh, why is it why is it that um, my wallet here, the balance shows zero? Let me double check, okay? Let me go back to my wallet. Here, you see, my USDT wallet, it shows 125.8696. So sometimes the application may be lagging a little bit, okay? Overall, the application is fantastic. It is sleek, it is sophisticated, highly efficient. And I must say that the people who developed the app, the brainchild behind it, they are super intelligent. All right, anyway, coming back, the USDT BEP20, in my wallet, I have 125.8696. So once again, I'm going to try lending out again by clicking at the bottom bar. The second button to the on the left, um, it's landing. And uh, oh, I know why, silly me. And that's because I want to lend out usdt bep20 right <laughs> but i was demonstrating to you guys and i clicked to the eth chain and it's a usdt erc20 and naturally the balance here shows zero usdt so my apologies it's not the app that is lagging it's my brains are lagging so let me go back to select bsc chain there you see now BSC chain and automatically it changes back to USDT BEP20 and very cleverly the application shows my balance which is 125.8696 USDT <laughs> and so now uh, since I have to post out a round figure I can only maximum land up 100 so 
I'll click 100, grab it now. And then the system will show that this will log in for 7 days. It's 1% profit per day. And the income per day is 1 USDT. And so after 7 days, the total revenue will be 7 USDT. The reinvestment function is automatically on to the right. That means at the end of 7 days, it will re-land out automatically for another 7 days. Awesome, isn't it? It's very convenient. So I'm going to click confirm. <laughs> and then a uh, next step. I'm going to pause here. Oops, it shows that it shows that transaction failed. Let me try again, okay? Oh, this time my transaction is uh, successfully went through. And once it has gone through under the investment order, you can see that the investment among 100 is being posted on the 12th of April. And the time is 9.48 p.m. And it is now under subscription. Okay, once the match is made in the back end with a borrower, then this under subscription will change to under investment. All right. And so now going back to this wallet, you can see that under USDT BEP20, a hundred US dollar has already been deducted. And let me go back to the lending to see. It is still under subscription, but I know for sure that in no time at all, in less than a minute, I believe, it will change to under investment. All right. And let's take a look at the profit of this account. Uh, at this point, for this account, the total personal investment is 23400 And then the total team investment is 164470 Alright? Um, and uh, let me see. I can go down, drill down further to see which are the voted accounts like that voted accounts under this network okay and uh, but you know all this is not that important for this video I just want to make sure that my 100 oh see my 100 uh, that I just lent out it has changed to under investment you saw that and then now I go back to my profit section. It's already showing my total personal investment is 23400 I believe that this already added in that 100 that I just posted. Alright, so um, I hope this video has been useful for you. And I wish you a very rewarding financial journey with Vintosh. Uh, God bless you all and take good care. See you next time. Bye.